What's up everyone? I have a 5 tar victory for you today and I think the tar is actually a very powerful unit. If you level into it especially on turn 5 I think it can be very strong. It's like uh, a 5 tree for anyone unaware and uh, its ability is giving chili to the friend behind it when it faints so if you manage to build up a big unit that can receive the chili and uh, hopefully attack multiple times, triggering the chili multiple times, I think it can be very powerful. But yeah, one of the big struggles of getting 5 stars is going to be scaling them up just because uh, as, we, as I just said, uh, the, the point of chili is to be able to survive multiple hits, trigger chili as much as you can, hopefully killing their backline for free. But uh, with the 3 HP of the Arabian Tar, it's not really that likely to happen, so we'll need to find the right way to scale up. And honestly, I could have uh, showed you many runs that I have gotten over the course of this week, but I chose to do the Arabian Tar just because... I think I found a very fun way to scale this team up and it was successful, which uh, very much surprised me. I didn't think it would work out, but uh, surely it did. Uh, you'll see later on what I'm talking about, but for now I'm just trying to survive. I've been having a great start so far, level 3 duck already, with garlic and uh, as well as that a hatching chick behind it just to buff it even more. So now I have basically a big carry unit that can hopefully uh, make me win some of the early rounds until I find the tar, which I think I might find on this round actually, after this level up, yeah here it is, the first tar, I was thinking about it for a second if I should take it or not. Uh, but yeah, here it is, and hopefully I can get the hatching chick up to level 2 as soon as possible, so I can start scaling up the tar. You can see how strong the chili is by the way, it's basically clearing up uh, half of their team, and the other half is just the good stat of the, the duck. But uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of this run rides on uh, the ability of me to level up on the uh, turn 7 just because I can find some uh, very nice tier 5 units that I can use, the, the Stingray comes to mind with its uh, insanely powerful toy. But you'll see what I actually settle on when we come to turn 7. I'll start trolling, hoping to find the Hatching Chick, just because that's the only half level that I got, so my only hope is leveling the Hatching Chick. I roll, I think about a uh, <laughs> Chameleon for a second, not for this run, or at least not yet. I find the second tar which I sell the duck onto just for the extra HP. I think it's going to come in pretty handy as we said earlier with the chili. And with the last roll that I can afford I get the hatching chick level and I level into an axolotl which is going to be very fun to use with this build. Sadly only a level 1 axolotl isn't going to be that powerful just because um, it's only going to be giving plus one plus one to the second team position tar, as you can see. Uh, the, the, hat, the buff on the hatching chick isn't really going to matter because it's going to get sold eventually. But what would be ideal is for me to get the uh, axolotl up to level 2 at the very least and then uh, build the chain of um, Arabian tar so that I can get chili on to each one of them during battle and scale all of them up equally. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be going for and uh, let's see how this does in action and I, I think you'll see one of the problems with the Axolotl that I don't really like and it's that it gets uh, sniped very easily because it got uh, the, the lowest HP, it uh, gets sniped by the toy and that means uh, that I'm not going to be getting any buffs for this round which is very sad because I think I would have gotten like plus 2 plus 2 on the TARS so yeah, it, it's not very good sadly. <laughs> uh, I, I really wanted to use it because I thought on first inspection that the Axolotl was going to be a very good unit, but uh, sadly I was uh, mistaken. I was gravely mistaken in fact, I don't think it's uh, good at all. And I've been struggling to get uh, 5 of a kind with an Axolotl, but for this one at least it was uh, kind of useful, you can see that uh, it's starting to buff up my tars quite nicely. 
Sadly, the 5HP one died during the fight, so it didn't receive a chili, therefore it didn't receive a buff either. But uh, another plus of the Axolotl is that I can give uh, perks or equipment to the uh, to the Tars that I have bought, and uh, I'll be giving them another buff that way. It's not going to be a great buff, like plus 2 plus 2, which equates to a pair, but uh, slapping that onto like... Uh, a lemon as you can see is going to be very good sadly I lose once again but uh, at the start ski building up and because I bought a Musasaurus on the previous turn I'm going to get a big stat injection on this turn so yeah uh, kind of uh, interesting this build with the double axolotl triple tar but uh, that, that's the reason I decided to upload this video first before all of the other ones and I hope that, that this build is interesting, I think it was a very fun way to scale up even though it's not that good. Uh, thankfully I think I win here but I dominate so hard that I almost don't get all of my uh, axolotl buffs. One of the axolotls once again got sniped which isn't really what you want. So I think I might actually even sell it eventually, the, the weaker one, the 2-3. For now I'm just replacing the lemon with another lemon just because it's a 3-3 buff which equates to a chicken leg. Which I think is very good, it's the same reason why I gave the bold tar some uh, melon. It's not like they're going to be able to use it because it gets overwritten by the uh, chili during the fight. But it can even prevent some snipes from happening which I think can be very good. And yeah, let's see how this battle goes. I think I should uh, close out this fight as soon as possible, or this run rather, just because uh, a lack of good equipment is going to be fatal in the end game. Thankfully I'm on 9 wins on turn 14, so I'm going to make the final transition, maybe put a stake on the front line just for another plus 3 plus 3 buff. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's a little bit better than the garlic as well, so it's not... Uh, like I'm basically spending my gold for nothing. And the final lasagna and this is going to be the final team. I freeze the tar here but uh, unfortunately I don't believe that this is going to be the final battle. Let's see what happens. I think uh, it would have been better if uh, my uh, melon didn't get overwritten but sadly I lost. But uh, thankfully I have another chance because I have two hearts. Getting a steak there wouldn't have done anything. I, I'm looking for uh, pancakes in particular just because um, I, that's the only toy that I can use or the only perk rather. That's going to give me an advantage and uh, this is going to be the final team. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, sub, do all the generic stuff uh, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.